And Thong is a Sharp Aquas S2 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see this device is fully reset and also locked and I'm just gonna proceed till the till I get stopped by Google. So let's choose the internet language. And then ver Google verification. So from here you wanna just tap on field and as you can see, there's nothing above it. So just tap on the keyboard right here. It's faintly visible. So just tap on it, choose something like Chinese, whatever. And then let's switch back to the Gboard. Still doesn't show. Oh, there we go. As you can see now, there's the what's new in Gboard. So you can just tap on it. Uh, now, how I did it, I just went back apparently. And uh, once I got back here, it showed me. So you might need to fiddle around till you find a way to actually get this message. For me, the way I did it worked. So right now we wanna just tap here and then search hard reset that info, uh, YouTube. So. Then YouTube, as you can see right here, tap on it and then you will get a search and then choose the first video that you, you see, tap on the play button and then you get taken to the YouTube app. Let's just pause it. It doesn't really matter what YouTube video you choose, just the one, any one that would actually open. So from here, minimize it as you can see I did, tap on the arrow right here, like so and then tap on the account. And then choose settings, tap on about, and then Google privacy policy right here. And it will take us to the browser. Just accept, uh, no thanks, we don't wanna sign in. And then in a search field, type in hard reset.info. like so, and search. And once we're on the website, you wanna tap on the bars right here to get access to the menu, and then choose download. Okay, so close this. Uh, from the download, tap on the search field and type Android 8. Android 8, and then tap on search. Okay, so right here, the FRP bypass is this one. Tap on the download button, and then scroll down and tap on download once more, right here. Continue. And then we will need to allow so Google can actually download it. Tap on OK. From here, we can tap on the three dots up here. Actually, as you can see, you can open it from here. You can tap on it. If it disappears, you can then tap on the dots here and then go into downloads. And you'll see it right here. So from here, you can install it. And when you try to install it, you will get blocked again. So you need to tap on settings and then enable unknown sources uh, right here. So just allow this from this source and then go back. And now tap on install. And then choose open. And now we're in the app that we just downloaded. So from here, choose Google account management APK install right here and then choose for version 6.0. And once more, we need to allow it. So 
tap on settings, then allow for this from this source and go back. And once more tap on install and then tap done. And now choose the other option, which is bypass FRP and then select browser sign in. Okay. And from here, choose the three dots up on the top and then select browser sign in, tap on OK. And then tap on the field and put in your email address. So I'm going to put mine. Like so, and then tap on next. And then log in with your, put in your passwords to log in. So I'm just gonna do that. And then tap on sign in. So as you can see, I just tapped on it. And then I should go back here once you tap on it and we're basically done, so hold power key, select restart, and let the device power on or power off and then back on. Yeah, so we're back on the setup screen and now we should be able just to pass, okay. As you can see, uh, we have the account that we have just put in before we restarted the device. And that is basically what it thinks is the default. And we're basically already logged into it. So tap on next. Agree. Okay. Skip. Skip. Now it doesn't really matter how you set it up right now. We're going to basically do a hard reset of this device anyway to remove any kind of leftovers after the previous account so yeah let's go back into the settings and scroll all the way down and find uh, i guess it's going to be in yep other settings and then backup and reset and then factory data reset and tap on reset phone, erase everything. Let the process basically go to the factory data reset. And once, once it's finished, we can set up the device once more. Okay, so let's go back to the setup, tap on next, skip, next. And as you can see, this time we didn't even have to put any kind of email, there was nothing there. And if I go into the settings, accounts as you can see there is no account of any sort so that's basically how you bypass the google verification screen and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching